Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I want to welcome you guys to the day in the life of a second string quarterback. Now, in this video, you won't see me throwing bombs. You won't see me throwing touchdowns. You won't even see me getting behind the center. That's how bad it is right now for me in my NFL career. I am behind Michael Vick. Also, I have chosen not to become an automatic starter. I have chosen to fight for my position. And it's not a good sight, trust me. In this video, you're going to see me catching a lot of balls. And I ain't a wide receiver. <laughs> but basically, guys, um, I'm just fighting for position. Um, every week, I'm doing my objectives. I'm getting 1,000 uh, XP in order to try to make my overall better. Um, one question that I do have is, I've been looking on forums, I've been on different websites, I've even been, been on EA Sports looking through everything, and I actually want to know, what, what attribute do I have to raise in order to get my overall up faster? Um, do I have to save all of my skill points and go after that 50k XP uh, attribute in order to get my overall to raise a whole lot faster? what what do i need to do so inside the comment section if there are any hardcore madden gamers that play connected careers mode or even knows slightly anything about it please leave in the comment section on your thoughts on what will raise my overall better because in 2k you can raise your awareness and your guy will be a 99 in a week so um, connected careers is nowhere near the same mode. It takes a long time to get your overall up. It's very hard to progress, especially when you don't get any playing time, especially when you're just catching balls out here. But we're going up against the Cleveland Browns. Um, I just kicked the field goal, and you know what that means, right? That means we came out with the win. But let's get into the end of the game. Here it is. The game has come to an end. It was a good one throughout. Hotly contested right down to the wire. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade, the Recover 03 series. Well, week one is in the books, and one side is now 1-0. Yeah, it's a great feeling. You know, all training camp, preseason football, and everything you work for, you come out, you get rewarded, you win the game, Jim. You're 1-0. Everything looks great. For Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Now, as we jump into week two, it has been very, very great. Um, Andy Reid has given me a chance to catch balls. <laughs> so, Vic is the number one guy. He's the starter. So, with that being said, I'm going to be catching balls letting Henry just kick him straight through the goal post. Um, but the one thing that I do like about this is it's up to me to make these field goals. It's up to me to make these point after uh, touchdown attempts. So they do give me a little bit of, you know, play. But uh, I'm not too happy about it. But what I will say is I'm trying to get better at Madden. Um, I've been playing connected career mode online. Um, I'm in something called YouTube C. CM um, that's been ran by Azor Effect this um, with a bunch of us YouTube commentators also a couple casual Madden gamers I haven't really seen too many hardcore gamers but a lot of people have been trying to give me tips and tricks on how to become better at the QB position um, I recently seen a video by Shakedown 2012 and he was telling me yo you gotta pump fake you gotta bait them you gotta break tackles when they're coming in for the sack you gotta know how to um, if you're doing a play action play, you can come out of the play action, out of the full motion of that play, and you can throw easy passes, slant, stuff like that. So, in the last few weeks, I've really been working on my passing game. And even though I'm 0-2 in the Connected Careers online under Azor Effect's umbrella, I'm getting better at the game. I would not lie about that. So, you, when you guys see me on the field for the first time, trust me, you guys are going to be happy. But... This game is coming to an end. Let's wrap it up a week two, man. This is what I'm doing out here. This game's come to an end. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles. 
Before we go, Phil, how about a final thought about this loss? You know, Jim, when a game is over like this, when you go inside, all you think about is yourself. What did you do to give your team a better chance to win? And it hangs with you. It only changes when you go out on Wednesdays and start practicing for the next team before you get over a loss. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long. Okay, now after the Ravens pummeled us in week two, we're moving on to week three against the Cardinals. Now, of course, we're in Arizona. They're at home. They doing what they need to do. They got the fans out here. We just trying to come in, show up, show everybody what we got on our feet, I guess you could say. Because like I said, I'm still catching balls. But in this little segment, I want to basically give you guys a little bit of info. I have started my own Connected Careers mode online. Now, this is a coaches only mode. The actual league is called Coaches Supremacy. Um, me and Wise now basically came up with that name. Um, he picked 16 players from him, uh, including himself, and I'm picking 15 players, including myself. So it's going to be 32 total players in this online league. Now, remember, since it's coaches only, that will give everybody that's playing in this league full control of their entire team which means hopefully you guys can be out here making trades and stuff like that and also the fun thing that's going to be about this we're actually involving the subscribers our subscribers the people we game with the people that we see on a daily basis um new subscribers old subscribers all subscribers alike and basically from my side of things i really don't have a friends list full of a bunch of madden guys so what i did was i actually updated um a facebook status and put out a couple tweets about it um they're the easiest ways to get in touch with me facebook and twitter uh since it comes through the iphone i'm always on both i have both apps so um that's the easiest way to get in touch with me now the way that i'm going to be setting everything up as the teams get taken and the coaches get taken what I'm going to do is I'm going to announce what teams are left every day or so and things like that. And as people send me messages saying, okay, I want that team with that coach or I want to create my own coach. I want to put on the game face and then get on that team. I will add people. Um, you have to be very active. You have to have about three to four games a week or you're not going to be able to be in this league. But this game is coming to an end. We showed up and showed out. I guess Kevin Cobb ain't had nothing for Mike Vick. I was still catching balls, but it's cool. This game is over. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. Gatorade dominate the fifth quarter. Well, Phil, I enjoyed watching the game with you, and how about a final thought about that victory? Well, you know, Jim, I wish I could say the same, that I enjoyed spending these last <laughs> three hours with you, but that's just not the case. But, no, just kidding, of course. Nice win. they got to feel good about what they've done and uh, uh, celebrate a little tonight. I think I'll see you next week, maybe. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, so glad to bring it to you. All right, after crushing the Cardinals last week, this is week four. Uh, like I said before, I'm still catching balls. It's horrible out here, but we're going up against the Giants. Oh, my goodness. This is one of the games that a lot of people wanted to see. I wish I could have been behind a uh, center taking snaps, but all I can do is catch balls, kick field goals, and kick point after touchdown attempts. But... In this little segment right here, I basically want to talk to you guys about actual 1v1 online in Madden 13. I will start playing 1v1s um, with subscribers, with people in rank matches and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm not the best Madden player at all. I'm nowhere near, I'm ass at this game. Like, but when it comes to 2K, I'm cool. I'm, I'm good. I, I have a little bit of confidence, but when it comes to Madden, boy, I tell you. I start, I started, you know, uh, getting out of my comfort zone. Like um, in a in a game against Azor in the Connected Careers, 
I was pump faking, you know, in the first half and stuff like that. I had quick touchdown. We drove down the field, stuff like that. Then I started getting out of my comfort zone. I start making mistakes, and that's where the losses come in. So when it comes to these 1v1s, man, I'm going to have to really get in tune with actually playing people that are good at Madden, that know schemes, that know that they're up against an ass person and that they want to capitalize on that. But it is what it is. But I do want to tell you guys this was a very short game. And I'm going to tell you why. Check this out. I could come in and kick a field goal, right? Mind you, they done scored it and did what they need to do. Look what happened. The game is over. Peace. That's going to do it here in this one. And coming up next is the post-game wrap-up. Brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover. Down in the locker room right now, Phil. What do you think the atmosphere is after this kind of loss today? Well, it's about as bad as you can imagine it, Jim. You know, you put so much work into these games that after you lose, it's, you're physically beat, you're emotionally down, and you carry it for a couple days, but then you get on to your next opponent. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.